So we're running out of time for Christmas shopping. There's only probably eight days of shopping left, but this is, I think, when everyone does their Christmas shopping, and I keep getting asked for gift ideas, so I have prepared a list for you. And if it is after the holiday season you're watching this video, then these are just must-have fishing items that you'll want to pay attention to regardless. And the first item that I want to talk about that I didn't really put on the list is a headlamp. A headlamp is something that I use every single day I'm out fishing because I start in the dark and end in the dark, ideally. And it's just a hands-free way to have a light when you're out there fishing. I don't even know if this is on or has batteries, but the reason that I don't want to include it on the list is because I've used a lot of headlamps over the years and none of them I've been super happy with. Um, I'm not saying that they are terrible, but I just don't have a specific one that I would recommend. That being said, a headlamp in general is a great gift for an outdoors person and one that everyone should have. So the first item that is on my list is an item from Loon Outdoors called a shark tooth. And what it is, is simply an elastic band with a cutter on it. And what it does is it goes on your bulk spools of line, which I carry, this is a little Plano leader case. I carry lots of spools of either fluorocarbon or mono. And the reason for that is that all my fishing is done with PowerPro. PowerPro is braided line and I don't like tying the PowerPro directly to lures. So I'm always using a leader and as such I'm always having these leader spools with. Quickly, how it works, see how there's little grommets on either side of the cutter? So I'm going to slide the line into the grommet and then I'm going to flick the elastic around the spool. Just like that, I have that tag end contained and I pull on the tag end and pull off however much I want and then all I have to do is wrap it around that cutter and it cuts off a section that I can tie on now as a leader. So I don't need to look for scissors and I don't have to worry about all my spools getting all tangled up. This is a super cool little item, maybe more of a stocking stuffer because two of those is only four or five dollars. I will put links for places that you can buy all these items in the description. Item number nine is a guide trip, okay? Booking and going on a guide trip with a professional fishing guide is one of the coolest things you can do because you're going into his world and you're seeing how he does everything. Um, the, the knowledge and little tips that you can pick up on are completely invaluable and a trip like that's going to cost you anywhere from $400 to $600 so it's kind of on the expensive side of things but it's going to be for a few people so your gift is going a little further in that sense. I would recommend um, getting a guide that is out of your normal scope of fishing activities. So if you're a shore fisherman even just the opportunity to go out in a boat and fish for walleyes would be an awesome experience or if you're a walleye fisherman book a musky trip, book a catfish trip, do something completely different. It'll be awesome. Number eight is an inflatable life jacket. I wear one of these when I'm out filming or fishing or whatever all the time. And this one is by Mustang. There's a few different brands that make them. Basically the idea is that you pull on this little tab and the whole thing inflates and turns into a life-saving device. This one is by a brand called Onyx. A lot of the guides I know wear these and really like them. Pay the money for it. The good ones cost $150 to $200. The ones that are really cheap and on sale for about $100 bucks, you'll want to stay away from because you're going to be defeating the purpose of getting one of these and buying something that's uncomfortable and something that you're not likely to wear as such. One thing I want to mention is that if you have a kid and you have any parental control over this kid, whether they're 5 years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, get them to wear a real life jacket. Okay, These are not better than a real life jacket for any reason than the fact that an adult is more likely to wear this. Adults just won't wear real life jackets. Otherwise, I would suggest that we all wear real life jackets, but we know what the reality of that is. So get one of these so that you know you're always wearing one, but keep your kids wearing real life jackets is my recommendation. Item number seven is a tip up. This is the bread and butter of ice fishing for me. Basically, it is in replacement of a dead stick because it is maintenance free. You set that in the hole and it's got a flag that pops up when you have a, a bite. You know, flag pops up. This is an item that I use pretty much every day on the water. Use it with big bait for big fish. Use it with just a single hook and a minnow if you're fishing for walleye, panfish, that kind of thing. When these specific tip-ups first came out, I was shopping for the best price and I managed to find on Bass Pro they were priced wrong. So I maxed out my credit card and I ordered 800 of these tip-ups because they're supposed to be $30 and they were priced for $7. They ended up sending me 400 of them because that was all they had in stock and then I spent the rest of that winter selling them. So it's kind of a staple item. Oh, another tip-up I want to recommend is an iFish Pro tip-up. This is more on the cool side and not like the all-around functional side. Since this fits in the bottom of a pail, it's something I always have with. 
This you can use with a fishing rod um, if you don't like using a traditional tip up. And you can see how to use this. I'll put links up to the videos that we made for this. Uh, in Depth Outdoors also made a really good video on how to use these tip ups. And basically it just allows you to incorporate a fishing rod. You can see there's the rod holder. And then this flag turns into a strike indicator. It's a pretty cool system. Uh, you can buy these at ifishpro.com. Item number six is polarized sunglasses. These ones in particular are Maui Jim's Piahi model. These are the ones I've been wearing for the last couple of years. They're absolutely awesome. It's a must for seeing fish and structure in the water. It's also a must for protecting your eyes from fish hooks, protecting your eyes from the sun. I wear these all day, every day that I'm on the water. You want a bronze lens for fishing. It helps you see into the water a little better. These sunglasses are $250 sunglasses. Um, they're kind of on the same price point as Costa Del Mar 580s, which are also very good high-end sunglasses. You don't have to have sunglasses that cost $300. For 30 bucks, you can get a decent pair of polarized sunglasses that are like those cheapos that are made by Rapla, uh, Berkeley, Strike King, and they all serve the purpose of protecting your eyes and seeing into the water. Um, these will just last that much longer. They resist scratching with that expensive glass on the lenses and they're just more comfortable to wear if you're gonna be wearing them all day, every day. They are very, very nice. Makes a very nice gift. It's probably something that is on everybody's wish list. Item number five is a do-it-yourself mapping tool, okay? I just did a video a few weeks ago on this and this is Humminbird Auto Chart. This is one of the options, okay? This is a $200 option of, for making your own maps, making your own depth charts of a lake. Very cool technology. Uh, this is only good if you have a Humminbird Fish Finder. If you don't have a Humminbird Fish Finder or the person you're buying for and they have a Lowrance, you can go to gofreemarine.com and you can make maps on their website there. I think a yearly subscription is around $100. And also, what you can do is if you don't have a fish finder at all, you can buy something called a T-Box from Vexlar, which has Wi-Fi built into the head. So it's basically a transducer with Wi-Fi and you can connect this to your smartphone or tablet and you can download a fish finder app from Navionics. And that app, I think if you pay 15 or $20, you can make your own maps right on your tablet too. Um, I certainly would never endorse this as a fish finder replacement, but if you aren't in the market for a fish finder, you don't have a fish finder, and you wanna get into some pretty cool technology, then for, I think this is a $150 option, this T-Box. Item number four is a wallet. And not just any wallet, that is actual walleye skin, okay? That is a ballin gift right there. I have not used one of these yet. I borrowed this from a friend to use it for this video, um, but I know people that have them. My friend Peter says it's the most durable wallet he's ever owned. You can get these from bigeyeleather.ca. It's a Canadian company here in Manitoba, and it is a very cool gift idea for $40 Canadian, or they have some ones that are dyed different colors for $50 Canadian. So pretty cool gift idea to consider. Item number three is an AquaView Micro that I cannot see for some reason, probably because it's so micro. There it is, AquaView Micro. We have done a video with this as well. This is a very handy tool for searching uh, at any time of year, you know, whether you wanna stick this down below your boat, whether you wanna hang this off a dock, whether you want to drop it through the ice. That's how we did our video with it. You just open this case, on it comes. The thing that's so handy about this is it fits in your pockets. It's always there when you need it. Ah. And it charges with just a standard USB. So it's not the kind of thing that you lose the cord for in the first week and then you have to try and track down another cord. It is extremely handy, extremely functional. It's a great thing to bring with you when you're ice fishing if you have kids or maybe a girlfriend that gets bored or easily or family members or whatever, just to be able to see down below the ice and keep them entertained. And like I said, fits in your pocket of your snowsuit very easy. Um, they have some models that are a little bit bigger and ones that have recording features and then those are up in price. This is the kind of the base model for 250 approximately. Uh, item number two is a Plano wallet and phone case. This is model 1460 right here. You can see mine has a pack of gum in it, some memory cards, phone wallet, etc., etc. This is an indestructible case that is extremely handy to have in the boat or whatever. They make them in different sizes. So if the person you're buying this for is a shore fisherman or a kayak fisherman, consider getting a smaller size. They've got a 1450 and a 1449. 
These range in price from $15 to $30. So it's a pretty cheap gift idea, but this is one that almost everyone um, that sees me with one wants to know where I got it because they want to have something similar for their boat for all those important items, whether it's your car keys, cell phone, wallet, memory cards, all that other stuff, just to keep them completely safe. Item number one is the brand new Stratic HG FK. It really needs no introduction. Stratic is kind of the industry leader for high-end fishing reels. This is a $200 American reel, which is kind of at the high point of a lot of price ranges perhaps. But everybody who fishes knows what a Stratic is and wants a Stratic. If they already have a Stratic, they want another Stratic. This is the Stratic K generation, which means it's been around since A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. And every single Stratic is absolutely awesome. All metal, inside and out. It's got the Hagani system, which is metal frame, metal gears. It's got X-Ship, which is just everything's tighter and more efficient inside. There's a Stratic, folks. It won Best of Show at ICAST this year, and so did the E6X rod win Best of Show for freshwater fishing rods. I don't know if that actually means anything, winning something at ICAST. Either way, it's not a bad thing to have won, and definitely an amazing little reel there. So there are some must-have fishing items for you to consider when you're shopping for someone else or yourself. Merry Christmas.